Until recently, Boko has for many years carried a negative turn of a conflict zone. Unknown to many people, Boko hosts arguably the biggest livestock market in Ghana. Cattle, sheep and goats bound for Accra, Kumasi, Tamale and other parts of the country. Boko's closeness to the border with Ghana's neighbors offers a strategic advantage. It takes a few hours to import animals from Burkina Faso. Some vehicles carry as many as 40 animals at a go. On a good day, we could load about 10 vehicles. But on a bad day, we get 8 or 7. We charge 5 cities for each animal. Lorry station porters, referred to as loading boys, risk their lives to get these cattle to various parts of the country. Many of them have at one time or the other been injured by the animals. Some of our guys have been injured by the animals. It is only until recently that the construction of the structure reduced the number of injuries. Bashiru Agubag is a cattle dealer. You need to get someone on the vehicle to monitor the condition of the animals until they get to their final destination. Some 20 years ago, every activity, including loading of animals and vehicles, was done by fiscal strength until the construction of this facility recently. Livestock trade in Boko has been hampered by a persistent depreciation of the Ghana CD as against the CFA franc, with implication on profit margins for farmers and middlemen. Businessmen are, however, undeterred from the usual importation from Burkina Faso. We are now running to uh, The prices are gone up to Christmas, up to Easter, and then from Easter it ends. Because from Christmas we go to New Year and then to Easter, and then that's when the prices now start falling down. But as I can get there, as I'm speaking to you, the prices of these animals are going very high. And then aside, the price of these animals goes very high because of the problem of the rates. Prices are arranged from 4,000 up to 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. Cattle trade and Boko's proximity to Burkina Faso and Togo provide revenue boosts for the municipality. It, however, remains largely undeveloped evident by poor roads. Residents are never excited about the situation. As far as the rules issues are concerned is that all has to do with uh, neglect. So I am calling on all politicians. If your government is on power, whatever good work the previous government has done, try to continue. Until these roads are constructed, residents will continue to endure the discomfort with the attendant health implication, Mahmoud Mohammed Nuruddin.